Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized for such time. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 5439. I believe that this is one of my favorite deals. Mr. Speaker, I am proud, very proud, to join my friend, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Renese, in introducing this common sense bill. And I want to thank you. The gentleman from Ohio and I share a passion and a commitment to this issue. Two years ago, we introduced the Stolen Identity Fraud Prevention Act. We both believe that taxpayers should receive the help and support they need and deserve. And I am proud to join him again today in sponsoring this bill. In recent years, I also included this common sense policy in the Ways and Means Oversight Subcommittee Democratic Bill, the Taxpayer Protection Act. H.R. 5439 responds to a frequent ongoing concern of many of our citizens. This bill will help ease the frustration that victim attacks related identity theft feel and it addresses a top IRS case work issue in my congressional district. H.R. 5439 established a single point of contact within the IRS for any taxpayer who's a victim of identity theft. As a result of this bill, the taxpayer will not need to start again from scratch every time they try to get an update on their case. Instead, a single point of contact will work with other RS units to solve the taxpayer issue as quickly as possible. This good common sense bill will help taxpayers across our country. For these reasons, Mr. Speaker, I urge all of our colleagues to support H.R. 5439. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Georgia reserves the